Right, it's time for another math easy solution. Today we'll discuss infinite limits at infinity. In this case, basically, as x is approaching infinity, and we get basically an infinite limit. Or we could just write this as we're using this notation limit as x approaches infinity of f of x. This is just equal to infinity. So this is just an infinite limit, but at infinity. And this is just used to indicate that f of x becomes large as x becomes large. And similar meanings attached to a limit similar to this one. If, for example, limit as x approaches to a negative infinity of f of x, if this is equal to infinity. And once again, it's, this is an infinite limit at negative infinity now. And similarly, if you have limit as x approaches infinity of f of x equals to negative infinity or limit as x approaches negative infinity is equal to i uh, of fx equals to negative infinity. So these are uh, just similar uh, limits that have the basis say, same meaning here fx becomes large as x become large in other the negative or positive uh, sides. And now to help illustrate this uh, this infinite limits and infinity we'll look at this example first uh, limit as x approaches infinity of x cubed and also limit as x approaches negative infinity of x cubed and see what happens basically if you look at this one if you just put in really large numbers or start off at here 10 to, to 10 cubed this is basically let's this is just a thousand and then if you put a hundred cubed I think this is a million I think one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so you just add uh, three zeros every time. So as you can see, it doesn't matter how big you put, it keeps getting larger and larger. Thus, basically, the limit as x approaches infinity of x cubed is just equal to, well, infinity. And similarly for this, if you put any negative number inside a cube, because remember, if you put a negative 10 cubed, for example, you're going to get negative 10 times, uh, well, negative 10 times negative 10. And then with multiplication, since there's three, well, two negatives cancel, become positive, but I have three. So you're going to have, uh, this is going to be positive times a negative. So you're going to have a negative uh, thousand. And similarly, you put uh, really large numbers in, you're just, all you're going to do is go more and more negative. So limit as x approaches negative infinity of x cubed is equal to, well, negative infinity. And now if you were to uh, graph this x cubed out, it looks something like this. So at positive infinity, you're going to go up to well infinity. And then at negative infinity, you're going to neg uh, yeah, at, at negative infinity right here. And uh, this is a graph I graphed Google Calculator, etc. So uh, yeah, this is just to illustrate that function. And now uh, if we look at example 2 right here, put a 2 right there. Uh, this one is an, another example I want to illustrate the infinite limits. Basically, limit as x approaches infinity at of the function e to the x or the exponential function and then compare with the limit as x approaches infinity of x cubed right here. So once again if you put in e to the 10 this is just going to be a really large number etc or, or, e, or e to the 100 etc. All you're doing is getting larger and larger. So then basically it, we're going to get limit as x approaches infinity of uh, basically e to the x, this equals to infinity, similarly to uh, example one. But now when we compare this, what I mean by compare this, basically let's just graph these together. Yeah, so if we were to compare how these functions looked as you go to infinity, if you look at the blue one is x cubed right here, and, and then the red one is, is basically uh, e to the x. So as you can see, let's say at, f at uh, value six, we're gonna get a value somewhere around 200 for this x cubed, but then for this e to the x, you have somewhere actually uh, close to this 400 value right here. So basically, all, all this is saying is that, well, actually initially, at this beginning part, uh, this is less than the uh, x cubed, but then, but then as you get really, really large, you're gonna have, well, this is basically greater than x cubed now. And uh, yeah, so what this is saying is that, uh, e to the x goes, yeah, e to the x is larger when x is larger. So we can go e to the x greater than x to the 3 as, well, as basically as x approaches infinity, as, as it gets really larger. So this is this is larger infinity or, go, or increases faster. Now one more example I want to go over to uh, illustrate infinite limits is uh, this one right here, example 3, limit as, as x approaches infinity of x squared minus x. Now I just want to point out that you can't, I'll just say, can't do what I'm about to do right here. Yes, yeah, so we can't apply the limit laws for this case here because uh, infinity is not a number right here. So we can't just go limit x and approach infinity of x squared minus, or, or we could say this equals to, well, this part, 
limit as x approaches infinity of x. And since both of these are approaching infinity, it's equals to infinity minus infinity. And uh, you can't do this. Well, is it equal to zero? I don't know. But you can't do this uh, because the limit laws, yeah, they don't allow basically uh, in, in inputting non-numbers. It's not a number. Infinity just means you're getting really, really large. So, but to, to solve this, actually, we could just do, uh, we could simplify this function a bit more. So limit as x bar infinity. We could take the x out. So we'll just take the, divide the x out of it. So we have x minus 1 right here. So in this way, we have basically two infinite. Uh, yeah, well, basically, we have this function where, as you put in really, really large numbers, for example, let's say 100. So all you're going to be doing is, let's say, 100. And it's going to be 100 times, well, 99. So all you're doing is putting a large number multiplying by a large number. So this is approaching well infinity. If you put a, a million, you're going to have a million times a million minus one. So basically, this is approaching infinity. So the limit of this one is an infinite limit at infinity. So x squared minus uh, x equals to infinity. And this makes sense because x squared is larger than x. So as you have a really, really large number, minus, well, so if you square that minus itself, it's always going to be still going to infinity. Well, uh, anyways, that's all for today. Hope you learned from these examples and this infinite limits uh, uh, tutorial right now, uh, right here. And remember, you can always download these notes in the Dropbox link below and stay tuned for another math easy solution.